Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well. Um, today I am reviewing a brand new uh, makeup range. Uh, it's completely new to me. I'm sure it might be relatively new to you as well. Um, and yeah, it's available in Boots and it is called, drum roll please, this. Called Florence by Millie Bobby Brown. Um, it's called Mills by Florence. I have got three products from there uh, which I want to review and we can do like a whole test as well with you so yeah let's get started okay so the products I have I have um, a skin tint I have a concealer and then I have a cheek uh, a cream blush so um, obviously we will start with the foundation now it says skin tint uh, I'm not really sure what the um, texture will be like and how much it will how much coverage it will give you actually um, so the color I have I also got this online so I'm not really sure how good the color is um, so the color I have is 030 it doesn't really say the name it just says L030 yeah so again um, the color that they've chosen actually really nice I really like that color it's like a light lavender color um so this is what the skin tint looks like it's a tube squeezy tube and then when you open this up um there's a pump which is always nice so i will literally just put this on my hand okay that's very thick that's about i think two pumps because the first pump really didn't give me anything now since it's a skin tint, obviously it's not going to be full coverage. Sorry, I didn't zoom in. Ooh. Oh, it's got a very odd smell. Oh, it's very odd. It smells like it smells like um gone off plaster scene. Which I know is a very specific smell. Oh, it actually stinks. Oh my god. I'm not really sure if I'll be able to handle it. It is quite rank. Oh my god. Why does it smell like that? I mean, these days, every um, product, even if it's not very nice in terms of like quality, they always have some kind of, um, you know, good smell to it. It smells like, oh, I can't put my my finger on it but it smells horrible um, the funny thing is on my hand it looks very orangey but on my face I think it's not that bad I mean I think I might be able to get away with this mm, what do we think I think it's okay um, I think maybe we should try another pump just one more pump just put it on my finger why isn't the pump working properly? Come on. All right. Okay, finally. Okay, so one more pump. This is what we are working with so far. Again, it's a skin tint. So again, it's not gonna be full coverage. Okay, let's go to the concealer. It's called See You Never Concealer and Corrector. Uh, the color I have in this is FL025. Okay, so again, this is what it looks like. A uh, smaller tube than the um, skin tint, again, squishy um, and the applicator oh, that's really nice there you go um, so the metal so the applicator is like a metal paddle thing uh, which you can use uh, but before that because I always correct my under eyes let's quickly put on the corrector uh, my benefit one because I always put this on anyway so I just want to keep everything fair to <clears throat> Ms. Millie Bobby Brown. Um, did I actually mention um, who? I'm sure people know who she is, but 
of people who don't know, she is one of the main characters in Stranger Things. Um, so, and it's very funny because she looks really different. Obviously, she's supposed to look different in that. Um, and she has a very, um, you know, specific look in that. But in real life, she's actually really, really pretty. Um, so, let's take this. I will try. The tip is really cooling, actually. Oh, that feels so nice. Um, I haven't seen any other drug, drug store brand put something like this. Okay, hasn't given me a lot of coverage. You can still see my dark circles and this is even after I've put in the corrector. So maybe add slightly more, I think. dot here and dot here um, but the concept of the metal paddle thingy is really nice I like that and it is really cooling obviously now it's warmed up because I've put it on my face but initially it was very very cool and then on to the next thing that I have from her is this which is the cream blush nad I haven't set my face yet because I want to put this on first um, the color that I got is called glowing now on online it didn't look as as dark as his over here also what is this on top of it now I want to say that it's just the oil that I have separated because it's been sitting somewhere um, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that, but anyway, thank God it doesn't have the same smell. Or rather, the concealer didn't have any smell either, it was just a skin tint. Um, and the pot that it comes with is plastic. I mean, for a drugstore, this is not very cheap. Um, I think for a drugstore, it's quite expensive, but, you know, we'll see. Okay, so just dipping my... Finger. Oh, it looks really dark in the pan. Mm. I'm not mad at that actually. Um, it is very, very creamy. Um, it's so creamy that when you swirl your finger in the pan, it almost feels like oil. So it's quite oily, but I think on the skin, it should be fine. Let's put a bit on the nose. Um, I think I might have overdone that a bit. Oops. So I will just pat it in with my sponge. Um, before I set my face, I just want to give you um, the complete look of my what my skin looks like and then I'll do the rest of my face. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, I don't see anything fabulous about this. I don't see, see anything special about this so far I think it's just like a normal BB cream with tinted a slightly thick tinted moisturizer um, but yeah I will do the rest of my face I come back I'll show you again what my face looks like and then we'll do um, <clears throat> an end of day test um, an end of day an end of day check-in that's what I was trying to say <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit I'm back now and <clears throat> Now, obviously I've got a highlighter on, but I will say that this, even after I powdered my whole face, it's still slightly tacky. Um, now I'm not sure whether that's the way it's supposed to be, that's what they wanted it to be like, um, but I'm not very comfortable. Like, it's a skin tint, but I can feel it on my skin. I, 
I can actually feel that I have some. It's not drying, like it's not like a dry um, foundation that you put on your face. Then when you're talking, it's just you know cracking and you can feel it. It's nothing like that. It's moisturizing. It's a skin tint, it's like a moisturizer, but I can still feel it on my skin. It's like it hasn't gone into my skin. It's sitting on it. So. Um, it still is very very shiny um, obviously minus the highlighter that I've worn uh, I think that might have been a bad decision because now it's um, <laughs> it's taking away from the actual um, foundation and the skin tint but yeah so this is what it looks like so far um, so in terms of coverage obviously it's not a lot I'm not saying that my skin looks bad I just think it looks shinier than usual uh, and shinier than I would have liked if that makes any sense so um, anyway I will obviously wear this for the whole day and then right before I am taking this off I will uh, check in and let you know my final thoughts so until then have a lovely day evening night or morning and I shall see you shortly. Bye. Approximately 10 hours later. Hi guys, so um, this is my end of the day check-in for uh, the Millie Bobby Brown makeup. Um, so let me just zoom in. So this is what my skin is looking like at the moment. Um, it's been about, i say about nine and a half hours. And blush is slightly there if I'm not wrong um, and obviously it was it wasn't really a foundation so you can't say that it gave me any coverage it's completely gone around my nose um, on my forehead it's gone around like my eyebrows over here and then on this side again it's gone around my nose and um, along the jawline might still be here slightly uh, the the concealer was an absolute disaster as you can see it's literally in my fine lines um, it's made my mascara smudge which never ever ever happens um, I will say I know this wasn't a foundation um, but I think they are definitely better products on the market. Um, what I do did like about um, the products is I think I do, I do like the blush. I don't dislike it. I still think it still has. There's still some on my skin after all these hours. Um, however, the concealer was an absolute fail. Um, the application, the applicator of the concealer is very good. I like it. It's very nice and cool. Um, but that's it and as far as um, the found the foundation or the tinted moisturizers concerned they are definitely much much better products out there which are much cheaper um, and and are readily available with lots and lots and lots of different colors um, this one unfortunately only had limited colors and in my opinion I I wasn't wowed I wasn't at all impressed so do give it a try yourself let me know in the comments below if you liked it or if you agreed with me I don't know um, and yeah I will see you guys next time in another review thanks for watching bye